Hello, it's good to see you back again. You know, it's funny how things happen sometimes. I mean, earlier this week, I was pondering what subject to discuss for this week's video. Now, for anyone who produces content for YouTube, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, I have a page full, in fact, a book full of topics and suggestions, which I write down so that I've got some inspiration. And this is actually a really handy resource. But this week was somehow different. I had a, a nagging feeling of discontentment about the whole thing. Now, maybe I was feeling a little less creative than usual, or, or maybe I was a bit tired. I'm not sure about that. But either way, it was a struggle. So I went to my channel and had a look at the statistics on my page and found that I had produced 62 videos in 2020. And that works out to more than one a week for the whole of last year. Now, I remember making a, a decision way back at the beginning of 2019, actually, to commit to producing a video every week to try and build the channel. And according to all the experts, being consistent with uploading content is what you have to do to be successful on YouTube. And, and so that's what I've been doing for the past two years. Now, you have to understand that I love this channel and I love the community that's been built around it. And I have all of you to thank for that. Look, I really enjoy creating videos and especially videos honing in on a genre of photography. I love nightscape images. Having said that, it's certainly not easy to keep the high level of consistency and original content flowing. And I've said this before, but it probably takes, look, probably 10 times the amount of time and effort to shoot and edit these nightscape videos compared to shooting and editing the actual images themselves. Now, uh, that level of commitment takes its toll. And, and I think you have to always be on the lookout for the telltale signs of physical and creative burnout. Oh, look, and I've been there before and it's not a place I want to go back to anytime soon. And it's made all the more difficult to negotiate when the work you do professionally is, is somehow tangled and intertwined with what you love to do anyway. And what that means is you never actually stop working. You're always on the job, as they say. And I think when we get honest with ourselves and ask the hard questions, we often get the most accurate answers. So that's what I've been doing recently. And it's what I'm chatting with you about today. So the big question is, why do I have a YouTube channel? And, and I guess further to that, what am I trying to achieve by uploading a video every week on this platform? Now, I'm sure every person on YouTube has asked themselves the same thing. And in fact, there are hundreds, literally hundreds of videos addressing all of these issues. I watch a whole lot of videos on YouTube, mainly photography channels, which include uh, a gear and equipment related content. Uh, many of these have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, some only a handful. And look, I've noticed some really interesting trends. The most obvious thing I notice is that the quality of content between the really large channels and the smaller guys is not that much different. Some of the small channels are really engaging with excellent work and quite compelling photography and videography skills. And, and yet the gap in the audience is mind blowing. But of course, I guess this is to be expected. After all, it is the long game we're in here, isn't it? Well, maybe it is, but the reality is, and I've noticed this so much more recently, the whole thing is actually structured and organized by a computer. We call it the algorithm. And the more we feed this computerized monster, the more it sucks us into its ever ending world of dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Look, for goodness sake, it's a computer. It doesn't care about any of us. All it wants is to sell more advertising. And it does that by keeping us online for as long as possible. Okay, so you can see I'm starting to go around the, the twist here, but I want to bring it back to my original questions. What is the purpose of my YouTube channel? And am I happy with where it's at now at this stage? Well, look, I'm very happy with the content on my channel. I'm extremely happy with the community and friends 
I have here because of the channel and I actually love the interaction we all have together. Uh, look, by the way, it takes literally hours of my time each week to answer the many questions and emails I receive. But that's not a bad thing because that's actually one of the reasons I have this channel in the first place. Um, I think a big motivation for photographers who work for a living is to get their name out there in front of people. And as you know, I run night photography workshops and these are very popular here in Australia and they sell out early every year. So does this channel have any influence on that? Well, I don't know, I'm sure it probably does, but it's important to realize that well over 50% of my YouTube audience is overseas. Actually, maybe more than that. So I have had international attendees at my workshops, but that's not the norm. So it's probably not so much a factor. Um, having said all that, there's no doubt that having this channel has raised my profile in the night photography circles here online. And to be honest, I have a little chuckle to myself often about this. You see, having a presence on YouTube has absolutely no correlation to being a quality photographer or even a quality person. It just means you have a YouTube channel. Anyone can have one, it's free to join. Uh, and look, you know, I've often mentioned that not everything you hear on YouTube is based on fact. I'll often keep that in mind when reading through the, the uh, many comments and suggestions I get when I may present something here a little bit left of center. Look, often it's just a point of view or an opinion based on where we're at at that moment in our photography journey. So the purpose of my YouTube channel is to inspire and encourage other photographers. In fact, that's also the purpose of my Nightscape workshops. I, I really do enjoy seeing people grow in their pursuit of Nightscape photography. And that's why I love to take you out there with me and show you what I'm seeing and how I'm feeling under the stars during the night. So the content I bring always contains an element of education mixed with, uh, I guess, inspiration and encouragement. And I guess that's just how I'm wired. And I worked out a long time ago that the best way to negotiate life is to go with the genes or if you like the, the DNA you're born with rather than trying to be someone else. It just doesn't work when you try to do that. Now, what's interesting is that whenever I produce a video that concentrates on the inspirational side of photography, it never does as well as those based on uh, techniques or, or camera gear or reviews and stuff like that. Now, please keep in mind that I'm measuring success here based on the statistics built into YouTube. Remember that darn computer. So the very fact that I'm bringing this up at all indicates that I may well be looking at the wrong motivation for producing videos here on the channel. If all I'm after is views and likes and subscribers, then it stands to reason that I'm going to produce content that gives me the best results based on those figures. So where does the rubber hit the road? Look, by my humble standards, this is a successful YouTube channel. I'm way behind other channels and it's quite possible that will never change moving forward. But I'm very happy with what I've achieved here these past few years. And I've resisted the urge to put a, a bikini clad female on any of my video thumbnails. And I reckon that's a pretty good achievement. Well, that's what my wife says anyway. Now, to finish, I want to tell you a little story. This week was the first time in probably the last two years that I went out to shoot some nightscape images without recording any video content to go on this channel. You, you see, the, the, the pressure to keep weekly content flowing is immense and that has to rob our creative energy to a large extent. I've often recognized it, but still pushed through anyway. So when I was out shooting just a couple of nights ago, I looked up at the sky and said to myself, what would I be doing if I didn't have the YouTube channel? And my answer, I'd still be here doing exactly the same thing I'm doing now, but I'd probably be a lot more content within myself. You see, just being here and enjoying the moment. Talk about a light bulb moment. I really 
have to take more notice of the things I'm often talking to others about. Enjoy the moment and soak in the beauty of the night sky and landscape and create memories that will sustain my creative energy for the future. So I'm going to make a couple of changes to how I approach this channel. From here on, I'm only going to post videos when I'm in a good headspace to do so. So how often is that? I actually have no idea, but I can guarantee you that the YouTube monster won't be dictating when or how that should look for me. I'll do my best to create compelling and interesting content. So for all intents and purposes, you may not even see a lot of changes at all, but I'm changing my mindset. So my hope is that helps me create better content moving forward. This year, I have a few trips on the agenda. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting out into some clean, fresh air. Uh, who knows what that will bring, but I won't be putting pressure on myself to do anything except get some awesome shots and enjoy the moment. So I'd love to hear your comments and suggestions regarding my rant here today. As I mentioned, I love you all and appreciate every comment and thumbs up you leave here on the channel every week. If I can ever help you with your nightscape photography journey, I'll just do my best. So stay safe and keep getting out there under the gorgeous night sky and landscape, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. <music>